Wait, 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 wait. Stop the celebration, okay? Because you thought it would be over for Jack Doherty? You really thought that this guy was going to leave the internet? I mean, maybe you thought in your delusional mind that, oh, hey, Jack Doherty was going to go find himself a real job and, you know, start a family and all that typical life shit, right? You thought that was really going to happen? Because I can tell you right now, Jack Doherty getting banned on kick was only the beginning. So it looks like Jack Doherty has hit an all new low once again. And it honestly begs the question, how how low can Jack Doherty go? So here on my channel, as you guys may know, we are no stranger to Jack Doherty or the actions that Jack Doherty has committed. We've talked about and gone over how Jack Doherty was being a huge nuisance in public. Watch your language, there's kids around here. I didn't say any curse words. What'd I say? Just watch your language. What'd I say? You got a stupid shirt on over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, your kids bro? can't read what are you though. Talking about? Your kids can't read, can they? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure your kids me. watch. Uh, you, get away from you me. You started talking to me, buddy. Get away from me. Uh, 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 you get away from me. Watch your kids. Go wa walk away. Oh, back up, back up. What the fuck's your problem? We've talked about Jack Doherty being a piece of shit narcissist to his girlfriend and the people around him. Oh my god. She looks like fucking Michael Jackson. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. You're a <laughs> fucking asshole. <laughs> you get mad at me. When I react to something you fucking say to me. I'm the only one here working! I'm the only one here working! Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I do! Because I have bills every month! I have to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars every fucking month, and it's fucking stressful! And you understand how it feels in my position? I don't want to fucking stream right now! I fucking don't! It drives me insane! And we've talked about the countless dumb and reckless things Jack Doherty has done, with us most recently going over how Jack Doherty crashed his McLaren. Oh! Oh! No! 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 And for anybody who is unaware, the last thing that I listed was actually the reason why he got permanently banned from Kick. And ever since this ban happened, nobody really paid that much attention to Jack Doherty. And that's why we're talking about Jack Doherty yet again. This will be my 15th video on him, as this is a topic that I believe people should be informed about. So ever since Jack was banned from Kick because of that McLaren accident that happened, Jack has done quite a few petty things to try and make his money back on the McLaren that he wrecked. And for whatever reason, Jack's first idea was to go over to TikTok and beg people for gifts. Everyone uh, double tap the screen. We're almost at a million likes, guys. Let's see how fast we can hit it. Let's see how fast we can hit it. James Ellis, thank you for the galaxy, bro. I just followed you back. Guys, let's see how fast we can hit my galaxy. Oh, I'm going to follow everyone back once we hit it. Appreciate y'all. I personally have no idea why he chose TikTok and begging for gifts on TikTok, but I have to say that was pretty pathetic. Now, fast forwarding to recent times and what Jack is currently up to, Jack Doherty, for those who are not aware, actually has joined a new streaming platform. For those who are not aware, Kick has been going through a lot recently. If you guys haven't heard, Aiden Ross, one of the biggest faces of Kick, has left the platform. And on top of big influential creators leaving the platform, you also also have countless streamers including Jack Doherty over the past few months being banned permanently from the platform and it's real funny that we're seeing this happen because Kick was an alternative to Twitch and now the new streaming platform that all of these people who have been banned off of Kick and other similar platforms they're all heading to a new platform that is called Party with an I. New streaming platform Party is offering small streamers $1,000 a month to challenge Twitch and Kick. Like, I know what you guys are all thinking right now. This is absolutely insane. And it really is just funny to see this because I feel like there is a cycle going on here. Kick comes out and advertises itself as like an alternative to Twitch streaming. They have less rules. They have less moderation. And in the beginning, they offer a huge amount of revenue to incentivize creators to go over to that platform. And then the content creators on this platform, since there's less moderation and less rules on the platform, they start breaking the rules and then us content creators over here talk about them and expose them and throw shade their way and then over time this new streaming platform will develop a really bad reputation the streaming platform will start to moderate a little bit better and then start permanently banning people from the platform and then that streaming platform eventually starts to collapse and that's what we're seeing with kick right now because there's a whole new streaming service that jack doherty is on right now called party and the funny thing about this is that when we go over 
were to look at his profile over on party it looks like he only has around 9700 followers like this guy is falling off so hard and it's really funny to see not even gonna lie like genuinely this guy deserves to fall off and along with the things that he's done in the past i'd also really be happy to see his career be over because of what he is currently doing with the cryptocurrency solana remember how i said that jack doherty is still trying to make his money back on that mclaren that he crashed well yeah i guess it looks like he's found another way to do it because around three days ago over on his twitter he did a stream and this stream was very short of anything good because currently the way that jack doherty is trying to make his money back on his mclaren is by making and pumping meme coins and then he rug pulls i'm buying mclaren coin all right let's go i just bought five soul i just bought five soul worth let's see okay let's see let's see mclaren crash baby you guys already know mclaren uh, I crashed McLaren, so uh, gotta buy McLaren coin, baby. I'm buying this shit. I don't give a fuck. So based off of that right there, we can already tell that this is a meme coin. He made a McLaren crash meme coin. And there's definitely no way that he's serious about this in any way. And as you guys are about to see in the next clip, he talks about it hitting a market cap of $100 million and about how apparently he's going to be staying in the coin until it hits a $100 million market cap. And just like you're probably thinking right now, know that never even happens guys i'm in mclaren i'm in mclaren until 100 million dollar 100 million dollar market cap lol buy soul you you asking me bro i need more quick buy about another mclaren to 100 million dollar market cap baby i'm going i'm up i'm staying guys i'm in mclaren for the long run I'm in McLaren crash for the long run, baby. You already know. So he keeps saying things like, oh, I'm in McLaren crash for the long run. But as he is saying this, you see the market cap go from the original 1 million it was at before they started flooding this coin. You see that market cap drop down to 300K. And of course, it's fluctuating because people are buying and selling it. But noticeably, all the way up until the stream ends, it just continues to drop. And this suggests to me that he rug pulled his audience and he scammed them because this really does feel like your run of the mill crypto pump and dump scam mclaren crashes where it's at guys it's going to the moon i got we got more people hopping on and to add insult to injury he's saying the typical things that crypto scammers do say he's saying mclaren coin to the moon as it noticeably starts dropping in its market cap and its liquidity now for the rest of the stream not much happens jack isn't really saying much and once again if you look in the corner you can see that this crypto coin is drastically dropping all the way until jack ends stream now while all of this was going down on twitter jack had tweeted some very suspicious things in which he tweeted this going live in 10 minutes biggest crypto meme coin stream ever 1000 times incoming retweet and comment your solana address to win the giveaways around 10 minutes later he said i'm live with the biggest meme coin stream ever i'm live on x running up meme coins yeah this guy is nothing short of a piece of shit if all of the other things that this guy has done haven't confirmed to you that he's a piece of shit well this should because essentially he's scamming what is left of his non existent audience and the fact that these people are fans of this guy and fall for this crypto stuff is just insane behavior now amid all of this going down other content creators like moist critical have came out and given their thoughts on this and they agree this guy is awful any news on jack dorky yeah he just did a rug pull today or last night he got in on that pump.fun rug pull it's not regulated but it's not legal it is still illegal it's fraudulent it's scamming it is still illegal but no one's gonna get punished for it but since it's not regulated you're not gonna see jack Dor dorky get taken away in handcuffs it's fucked because kids thinking it's a way of life they should be worried about toys yeah like the 13 year old that rugged <laughs> three times in a day for 50 grand oh god it's sad it's actually sad
He was pulling every little trick he had in that hat just to make some money that night on his fans. Now, obviously, if you're about to scam your audience, bro, I feel like you should not come back from that shit. I mean, you're in a position to not have to work, pretty much live the dream, make content, and then you're gonna fucking scam them at the end. Liquidity is around 38,000. So he probably made 100,000 plus doing this, which for somebody like him, isn't that much money. And I mean, is that worth it to be robbing his fans? And the crazy part, with crypto being unregulated, this isn't exactly illegal. I know some of those other influencers I mentioned that did pump and dumps were reported to the sec but i don't think anything really happened maybe they faced a fine or something like that but no charges against them no jail time nothing like that which is why influencers are going to keep doing these pump and dumps fucking hell what a sad life to live like what i just explained to you is genuinely my idea of hell i understand he has all of these luxury things but this guy's soul is literally encrusted into hell when this guy dies he'll be meeting satan himself and satan will literally have a tattoo saying jack doherty with a little fucking love heart around it i mean this guy is just just an insufferable piece of shit. Now, do I believe that Jack Doherty is going to stop doing things like this and become a better person ever? No, I don't. And speaking of him doing more of these streams, he also did a second stream where he did pretty much the same thing. So yeah, I guess that's what we're dealing with now with Jack Doherty. Sure, he's not being a public nuisance anymore, but he's taking these foolish people's money and who knows, it could be a kid on their mom's credit card. And that is how he's going to be making his money going further. Like, it's just ridiculous. It really is. And as much as I want to stop, I know it's not going to be stopping. But with that all being said, I'm going to be wrapping up the video right there. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because doing so will help promote it more in the algorithm so that more people will see it. Now, before everybody clicks off the video, I just wanted to ask if you guys could leave a comment on what you thought about this video. I do a little bit more editing than I typically do. So if you have any feedback you want to leave me, make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section down below. Now, anyways, thank you guys so much for being a member and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.